Drivers and delivery drivers, are you seeing a slowdown in your market? We asked, you responded, let's go over the results. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. And today we're gonna go over a poll question that was asked on the YouTube community tab. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you head over to our community tab because there's always new things going up there and poll questions that you can take part in. Now we're gonna go over what was asked, the results of what we saw, and also go over the comments of what you are seeing in your particular market. If things are still busy, if things slowed down a little bit, or if it's come to a screeching halt. All right, so we asked you this question, drivers and delivery drivers, are you seeing a slowdown in your market? 634 people voted. Awesome, thank you for taking part in the poll. 27% said, no, it's still busy. That's awesome. That's great for the people in those areas. 42% uh, said it slowed down a little bit. You noticed some sort of change, whatever it might be. And then 31% said, yes, a lot of people are noticing a slowdown. So overall, about three quarters of the markets of the people that voted said that they're seeing some sort of slowdown. Whether that's new people coming on board, whether that's unemployment ending, whether it's a mix of both. All right, so now I'm gonna take a few of the comments that I see from this particular poll post, and we'll go over them. Uh, but right here, it says, I'm in Hot Spring, Arkansas, a tourist town with tons of restaurants, getting orders still, but definitely seems a lot slower. I multi-app with DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. Next one says, I live in Oakland, and I typically make 100 every three to four hours on DoorDash, still making it, but notice a lot of orders without tips, but the base pay is higher. Also, there's barely any promotions on DoorDash except for the times when no one is driving. Also lucky because other parts of Alameda counties doesn't have the diverse amount of food as Oakland does. Here it says it's been a bit unpredictable in Akron. A few months back, it really slowed down but got used to a super high pace of roughly 22 eats a day, but now roughly 18, even though there are some spikes. I still can expect at least 110 trips a week, mainly on Uber Eats and mostly eaters tip. That's always a great thing there. All right, and then uh, we'll go through. I noticed Lyft slowed down in Orange County, but Uber is still busy. Little Rock, I only do Uber Eats, lost 50% in fares, really feel like they're shadow banning me because you refuse to do rides and getting close to 2K cases a day here. Right here, driving Miami, promotions haven't been the same in a bit. I'm assuming it'll pick up in the holidays. Right here, it's constant in LA, always a ride loaded. Uh, going on, uh, we'll talk. Rideshare is very slow in Melbourne, Florida, but food delivery is busy. Uh, bonuses have decreased in LA market with Lyft. As somebody else had said, Lyft has slowed down. Uber seems to be busier. Uh, San Francisco, South Bay area, it's been slowing down since the beginning of the month. Uh, DC is fine. Lyft kept making the streaks disappear and they were cutting streak prices. Now they're back to more money. Uh, Melbourne, Australia, still, still quite Uber Eats drivers, really busy, but as far as rides, hopefully it'll pick up soon. Uh, Central Florida, I'm assuming, uh, and Tampa are saying that it's slowing down uh, due to how the poll question was asked. Uh, so yeah, Central Florida and Tampa area. And Jose, this is a red state versus blue state question. Not really, it's actually just asking whether markets have slowed down or not and what people are actually seeing out there. But as you can see, a lot of people are saying that, yes, it's slowing down or at least they're noticing some sort of slowdown, whether that's lowering the promotions, lowering the streaks, even just not averaging the amount of rides or deliveries that they've been taking from week to week. So about three quarters of people are saying somewhere that they're seeing some slowdowns, while other people are saying Maybe one slowed down, but the other one's busy. And others are saying that, yeah, it's still pretty busy no matter what. As things do progress and continue going on when it comes to this whole pandemic, one of the things that we're probably going to see is this difference in whether it comes to rideshare is going to be busy at some points, and then food delivery will be busy on the other points. And it's kind of probably going to do this flux thing now as people may not want to go out and order in or while well, other people do want to go out and have some fun. So just make sure, as the first person commented, make sure you're multi-apping 
and you'll have a greater chance at getting an order coming in or delivery or a ride, something coming in. So instead of just sitting there waiting, you're out there earning. And for the people who didn't answer in the poll question that do want to, what are you seeing in your market? Is it staying the same? Meaning, is it still busy? Are you seeing some sort of change where, you know, the food delivery and rideshare kind of going back and forth between each other? Has it slowed down a little bit or has it slowed down a lot? Make sure to comment, comment your market, what you're seeing, and just kind of share a little bit of your experiences. Now, if you would like to take part in our polls, either on YouTube in the community tab or on Facebook, make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when new videos drop, as well as you'll be notified on your subscription feed when we do post different questions or polls or anything like that on YouTube. And also head over to our Facebook page and we may highlight some of your feedback. All right, everyone, drive safe.